Hello, and welcome to White Gloves Reviews Anything. In this video, we're going to take a look at three Spyderco knives. And in this case, they're the series of knives called the Clippy Tool Knives, or Clip Eye Tool Knives. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to say it. I'm going to go with Clippy Tool. Now, with these knives, what you get is you get a relatively small size Spyderco knife. In this case, oh, by the way, I don't know if this is just me, but I kind of enjoy it when they put a little magnet in the clasp and it closes the box. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. And in this case, this is an example of one of the Clippy Tool knives. This is the one with the bottle opener. Now, as you can see, it's a stainless steel knife. It's got a clip on the back and you can't really readjust the clip. There's no other place to put it. These knives are, they're all stainless steel, and these are part of Spyderco's more budget line, and these particular knives are made in China. Now, knives made in China don't have the best reputation, but I gotta say, the, the, the machining and the seams on these knives look really good, and I don't know if you can see it there, but it's very hard to tell that there's any seams here until you open it and you can see exactly where they are. Now these knives don't have a lock or anything and as you can see it's got a not bad size blade. It's the, the blade is roughly two inches and the reason I say roughly two inches is I checked their website and they say that the blade on one of these is like 2.0 inches and then one is like 2.02 .02 and one's 2.01 so they're roughly two inches so if you live somewhere where two inches is the limit you should be safe with these knives you should be able to get away with it now the interesting part of these knives is they have another contraption here lucky for me Victorinox has this problem covered in this case this little knife is a watchmaker's tool knife and I'll just, whoops, let me just get it out here. Okay. Now, this particular model is the bottle opener, bottle opener model. Now, it is a bottle opener, and I'm sure it works as a bottle opener. And it's got a little flathead screwdriver right here. I gotta tell you, I'm personally pretty sick of people adding bottle openers to every single everyday carry tool and that you have in your pocket. I, all you need to make a bottle opener is a little kind of like hook in metal. And I'm just, I have enough things that open bottles. I only rarely open bottles to begin with. I just don't need it. And I think this is an interesting idea. And I like the size of the knife, but I'm not crazy about the bottle opener. Now, I'm also not super crazy about this clip. This knife seems small enough to me that it would be more of a pocket knife than anything else. You might like maybe clip it to the inside of your pants, something like that. But in general, I would probably try and get rid of the clip. Now, so this is the bottle opener one. And I, the, the usefulness of that bottle opener is highly questionable in my opinion. The next one is the scissors. And with the scissors, I think these are a bit more useful. It has the same blade as before, just like the other one, and it has a pair of scissors. Now the scissors, I kinda like these scissors. And it might just be me, but I kinda like them because they look like a face. They look like a little creature. You got the eye and the mouth, and it does like that. This also might be a problem of me basically being a six year old sometimes but in general I, I do like it and I like it for that reason the they don't do too bad of a gut job cutting I think they are comparable to the knife that you find on like a Swiss Army knife and I think that makes them a bit more useful the, uh, the way more useful than the bottle opener now these knives like all the spider Co knives, they come out of the box pretty sharp. And you grab a sheet of paper, and I will illustrate the sharpness 
of this particular knife. As you can see, it's pretty sharp. I mean, they come out of they come out of the package reasonably sharp. So, I'm a much bigger fan of the scissors than I am of the bottle opener. The last one is a serrated blade. And in this case, this one is probably my favorite. Except I, I do like the whole scissors looking like a little creature thing. has a standard blade like normal. And in this case, you get a small serrated blade. And I like the small serrated blade on this. It's, it's sharp, and I think it easily would cut through some stuff. This might be good for cutting through like thick fabric or some kind of like a belt or leather or that kind of thing. And it's just, it looks, it's, it's, I prefer this one of the three. Now, again, the knife blade is the same as the other ones. Now, one thing worth noting with these knife blades is these use the cheaper kind of steel. They use the HCR steel. And again, these are made in China. But I got to tell you, I've been pretty impressed with the small budget knives that Spyderco has made that are coming from China. They they feel good. I like the stainless steel. Now, all of these are pretty light as well. They're not super light, but they weigh in at about two ounces each. And again, they're all like just under two ounces. One is like 1.8 and the other, the other two are like 1.9 ounces. And they're not bad sized. The, the clip, I'm sort of hit or miss on about the clip. I think that some people may get a great deal of use out of the clip, others not so much. This is, as a keychain knife, this is probably getting a little heavy. I also think that the positioning of the hole here, it might be a little awkward to have on your keychain. The manufacturer suggested retail price for these knives is $39.95. And that's more than you, you should be able to find them less expensively than that. Uh, I'll include a link in the description down below that has these links to these on Amazon and they are cheaper than that. They run about 25 bucks for the most part. At least they did when I picked these up. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comments down below. If there's something that you'd like to see me review, you have a good idea, that kind of thing, just also include it in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope you have an excellent day.